A New York airline employee has pleaded guilty to smuggling on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party. The case is one of many instances of China taking advantage of the United States' legal system. And today's Daniel Hole has the story. Thanks, Angela. On Wednesday, April 17th, an airport employee in New York pled guilty to acting as a foreign agent on behalf of the Chinese regime. She smuggled luggage onto flights for Chinese military officials. The woman named Lin Ying may face up to 10 years imprisonment. She will also forfeit $170,000 for her actions. Lin began working with the Chinese state-run airline Air China in 2002. She became a manager in 2009. She mostly served Chinese VIPs and government employees. Both the FBI and DHS were involved in the case. FBI Assistant Director in Charge William F. Sweeney said, We believe this case isn't unique and hope it serves as an example that the Chinese and other foreign governments can't break our laws with impunity. Lin would accept luggage from officers of the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, but would mark it as unaccompanied or even check it in under another passenger's name. She also encouraged other employees to help military officers, saying their primary loyalty was to the Chinese regime. Attorney Richard P. Donahue for the Eastern District of New York said, This case demonstrates how seriously we address counterintelligence threats posed by individuals in the United States who work for foreign governments, such as China. Lin may have her citizenship revoked if evidence is found that she lied in the process of obtaining it. Lin will be sentenced on September 10th. Her lawyer refused comment after the trial. There are other instances of Chinese stealing on behalf of the CCP. Many of these individuals may have been functioning as agents for the United Front Work Department. This is a CCP government agency which co-ops Chinese living abroad to do its bidding. In 2018, Ji Chaochun was arrested for providing biographical information on people that the CCP was attempting to recruit into its service. In 2010, Dong Fan Greg Chung was sentenced to 15 years in prison for stealing secrets from Boeing about space shuttles and rockets. In 2008, Chi Mac was sentenced to 24 years in federal prison for stealing U.S. Navy secrets. Kosun Bill Mu pleaded guilty in 2006 for attempting to obtain military hardware for the CCP, including jet engines and missiles. Despite the CCP's claims of fair trade and peaceful intentions, it remains constantly adversarial to the United States.